Hi everybody, this is Doug with Tudor Games. But enough about me, let's look at this beautiful NFL Deluxe Electric Football Game. This is an unboxing video, so over the next couple of minutes I'm just going to show you what you get inside. First, let's start with the game itself. This game is 32 inches by 16 inches. Uh, length and width, that's the size of the playing field itself. It's our medium-sized game in our lineup of uh, NFL Electric Football Games. You can see on the back, it kind of highlights something new that we're very excited about, and that's our app. Our app is free. You can just download it from the App Store, from Google Play, and it turns your game into a, a timed uh, interactive game so that you can uh, tap in the, uh, the play. Uh, it'll time your run plays, time your pass plays, keep, keep the game moving along. It has a uh, coin toss feature in it, all kinds of stuff, a full playbook, a help section. It's really a lot of fun. If you don't have a smartphone or a tablet or something like that, that's okay too. You don't actually need that to play. All right, so let's open up the game and look inside. I'll flip it open. Ah, there it is. The NFL Deluxe Electric Football Game. So, it's a, it's a beautiful metal field. Let's pop it out of here. First thing you'll notice is the box is a great way to store your game when you're not playing. So, just close that up. Sit it aside. Stickers. NFL end zone stickers. So you get 70 stickers. You can pop these out. You can put Seahawks in one end zone, Patriots in the other. Uh, anything you'd like. We also have some conference stickers and some regular NFL stickers. So uh, those are how you can customize the game. I'm going to take off the, uh, these corner protectors that are only used for shipping. There we go. And what you get down here is all the stuff that comes with your game. So let's go through that and I'll show you how all that works. First thing, oh, let me get that out of the way. First thing you'll notice is the uh, playbook. Playbook is the official rules and assembly instructions for your electric football game. Now this is in three different languages and it takes you through how to set it up, how to play, the rules, the finer points of electric football. Okay, next thing I want to show you real quick is how to put on the end zone, or the uh, goal posts and the marker. I'm just going to dump this out, make it a little easier. So the first thing uh, you want to do is you want to put these little clips on. So the clips just clip right on the edge. Now what's neat about these is they slide. So you can put your yardage markers here. So if we're going for the first down, there's 10 yards. And then those slide as the ball changes position on the field. On this side, I have the ball marker. Same concept. So ball on the 50 yard line, first and 10, 10 yards to go. I've got to get to the 40 to get a first down. So how about the goal post? Well, the goal posts function the same way. We have these little clips. I just put the goal post on there, clip it on the edge, and then you can adjust this so it's just perfect. So when you use your triple threat quarterback to kick a field goal, it can be right down the middle. So that's the game when it's first assembled. Now you notice that these clips don't come off, so they're a lot less likely to get lost. And the reason I'm going to tip it up is I want to show you how this actually works. Now the old electric football games used to plug into the wall, which was a good concept, but a little bit uh, uh, maybe dangerous. Uh, you don't need to plug this game into the wall. It comes with a field drive motion generator. And the way this works is when you put that next to the play action remote control, you just plug it in, put two, two AA batteries, in the play action remote control and it makes the game vibrate. You take this uh, field drive motion generator and you just need to peel this peel and stick tape off and mount it on the bottom of your game. And the way you do this on this model is with this uh, jack facing the frame, you wanna just put that about an inch away, right on the 50 yard line. And you can use your clip up above to make sure you're right on the 50 and it lines up really easy. So just peel it off, stick it on, ready to go. Plug it in, off you go. So now that I've got the field put together and ready to play, let me show you what you get in the game. So I've got 
a red team and a white team. I've got uniform numbers for both. I've got my triple threat quarterbacks, two of them. I've got six uh, felt footballs for the ball carrier. And I've got my bases. So let's go through this one by one. Pretty self-explanatory. These get their numbers and they also get bases. Now the way this works is we have two kinds of bases. I'll just show you what they are quick. We have what's called strength cleats and we have speed cleats. Now strength cleats is what you put on your linemen. They could push guys around, they're strong. And speed cleats are like skis. You put two of those on each, each individual player and you can move those around just like when you're skiing or if you've ever skied before, it helps you angle the players so you can predict where your player is going to go and your opponent doesn't necessarily know that. So that's how the bases and the numbers work for your teams. And then the triple threat quarterback is a special guy that you put in to substitute when you want to throw a pass play or when you want to kick. You just take one of these felt footballs, you put it up in his arm right here, you, you replace your quarterback, you aim it on the field, and you attempt to hit him. We've got a lot of other videos on our YouTube channel that show you how to actually play electric football, so I don't want to get into that too deeply here. This is just about what you get inside the box. All right, so that is electric football, and that's how you play it. And I hope you enjoyed this short video, and play electric football.